The witch hunt against me is dead. Trump says Manhattan DA tricked by fraud star witness wasn't into horse face stormy. <laughs> Trump is hilarious. Um, it, it, we knew that they really didn't have anything against uh, Trump from the get go. This whole thing was just a way to try to uh, try to arrest um, to try to get Donald Trump so that, so they can't he can't run for a uh, president this whole thing was started by his his lying lawyer who went to uh he went to prison for lying he's 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 on record as a perjurer so why in 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 um why would the da of manhattan use him as as a star witness is because you know they they trying to throw everything again at trump to try to take him down um, but before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button, share this out so we can get this information out there. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber and hit that alarm bell so you know when I'm putting out new stuff. Also, check out my link tree in the description. It has a link to my Patreon where I talk about things I can't talk about here. There's also a link uh, to my Instagram and my merch store where I have I Will Not Comply t-shirts as well. All right, let's talk about this wild, wild news. Um, former president... Trump on Saturday suggested that the Manhattan DA was tricked by star witness Michael Cohen, Trump's former lawyer who was disbarred after pleading guilty in 2018 to multiple felony charges, included five counts of tax evasion, lying to a financial institution, lying to Congress, and two campaign finance violations. <laughs> this is the guy, the word that the DA is taking from Manhattan. This is how bad they want Trump. They're taking this guy's word who's a known liar, went, went to prison for lying on um, perjury, all types of stuff. And he's in there listening to this guy. In addition to Cohen's credibility issues, a 2018 letter emerged last week in which a Cohen lawyer tells the Federal Election Commission that Cohen used his own funds to make a $113,000 hush payment to Miss uh, Stephanie Clifford. Um, who, who we know as uh, Stormy Daniels or AKA Horseface um, and that Trump did not reimburse him for it. <laughs> so he did it on his own, didn't re and Trump didn't reimburse him for it. I mean, this is, this is new stuff is just coming out about this, about this whole crazy stuff. But following a Saturday night rally in Waco, Texas, Trump, um, Waco, Texas, Trump told reporters on his plane, quote, I think they've already dropped the case. They have absolutely nothing. It's a fake case. Some fake cases. They have absolutely nothing. Um, Trump continued. The former uh, president made a similar statement earlier Saturday, writing the Manhattan D.A. witch hunt against me is dead. No evidence at all. And it has been conclusively proven that I did nothing wrong. The evidence against their star witness, however, is overwhelming. An already disbarred lawyer and convicted felon. The only question left is, will the D.A. office sue him for lying and fraud? They should. <laughs> so I agree. They should they should sue him for lying. Um, but uh, they should something should be done with with the Manhattan D.A. for going after this um, um, with, with some flimsy charges. Uh, Trump also told reporters on the plane that he wasn't trying to incite uh, violence with the recent true social posts warning of potential death and destruction if he's indicted. Quote, no, I don't like violence. I'm not for violence, but a lot of people are upset, he said. Cohen's credi credibility is shot. As um, the Epic Times notes, former Trump attorney Robert Costello said he told the grand jury in the Manhattan case that Cohen was a tainted witness against Trump. They said uh, Cohen's testimony against the 45th president is in the in the investigation, um, which reportedly is connected to so-called hush money payments that were given to adult adult performer. Stormy um, Stormy Daniels during the 2016 presidential campaign, a lawyer for Cohen, when reached for comment, declined to issue a statement, although Cohen told MSNBC last week that Costello never re represented him and disputed his testimony. Bragg's 
um, has not returned a request for comment and um, Epic Times cannot verify the authentic, um, authenticity of Trump's claims. Previous Epic Times requests for comment from the DA's office have gone unanswered. Over the past week, Bragg's office has issued one public statement on the case, and that came in response to the House Republican letter seeking testimony to information about the DA's case or whatever his office um, would arrest Trump. A letter sent by uh, his uh, general counsel said that it was Trump who created a false expectation he would be indicted last week, although he provided no details. So during Saturday night's rally in Waco, Trump declared that his enemies are desperate to stop us and that, quote, our opponent um, opponents have done everything they can to crush our spirit and to break our will. He also told the crowd that Bragg was investigating him, quote, for something that is not a crime not a misdemeanor, not an affair, but they failed. They've only made us stronger, and the 2024 is the um, final battle. It's going to be the big one. You put me back in the White House, their reign will be over, and America will be a free nation once again. Powerful, powerful words from Trump. Um, so now the, the DA got backed into a corner. They know they don't have any evidence. So I think they dropping the case. Trump knows they're about to drop everything, drop the indictment. And, um, he's calling them out on their, on their false, um, false allegations. But, uh, let me know what you think. Leave your comments down below, like, share, subscribe, and check out democrapublics.com for the latest in news until next time. Peace. Oh,